Hello everyone, it's Guru Rainy Gamester here with Age of Calamitous and we are in front of the Dregs which is the way to Faction Hall and this video is going to be about uh, nature elemental magics, how to get them and how to level them up. Now I've had requests for this so I'm going to give you a guide from start to finish. Now a lot of people uh, learn by reading something and then other people learn by watching. I am one that learns by watching. So if you're like me, um, this video is for you. Now for those of you who like to read, uh, in the description I am going to leave you a link to a comprehensive guide that the Age of Calamitous developers did that covers all magic, everything, arcane and elemental. And uh, it's, it's very, very good. I highly recommend it. Um, it tells you what materials you need to make each, each item of magic and where to find them. And it's, it's awesome. So um, to get started, we're going to go in and we're going to choose our faction. Now, in order to wield mag magic, you have to choose one of three factions. You can cho choose Cold Embrace, Felgarth, or Elvenor. And I chose Felgarth uh, mainly for their Orb of Light. Now, this thing is just awesome. It doesn't, it doesn't use a lot of uh, power, but it, it does deteriorate. It does. Um, degrade and all you need is essence to um, repair it so it's it's pretty awesome it lasts a long time so I like that a lot so we're going into the Felgarth faction um, you all probably know how to do this part um, you just go up and talk to this guy he, t he joins you to the Felgarth faction then you jump into this portal now when you get in here um, you'll see this guy first thing and he's the one you want to talk to this is the Grand Magus of Felgarth yes. if you click on him he's gonna um, offer you to learn the ancient arts and you're gonna say yes you want to do that so learn those and the minute you do when you have something of value. in your personal crafting section you are now going to have um, if I can find it here down one more I think one more. There we are. You're going to have the Studies of Ancient Arts station, and you need to make that. Um, that's going to allow you to make some important items for, for the elemental and nature magics. So, all right. Once you do that, we're going to go back to our base, which mine is right here. And for those of you who follow me, you're going to know. <laughs> I have a hard time getting on here because um, it's very, very touchy. There we go. I like to get in the right spot. I don't like to end up on a roof. Oh, wow, that was good. I did that well. <laughs> so, all right, so let's go in here. And this is where my studies of ancient arts is. Now, if you open this up, once you get to a higher level, you can... Um, um, in your feats, you can get these conjures. So you can conjure cookies and curry steel and mushrooms and puffball mushrooms. I haven't really used too much of this yet, um, but I probably will. You can make uh, arcane essence in here. Uh, you can make a tome, tome of mystic attunement. If you lose yours, um, you can make another one here and the same for the tome um, of nature attunement. Now these won't be here if you don't already have them. Uh, and then, of course, here's my Orb of Light and then Arcane Barrier. So once you have those two things, the very next thing you need to do is attune to nature. And I did do a video on this because they did change the location and it's been updated. So uh, that you will find here on your map. Now, this is the Descent of Dagon. And this is in, let's see, I guess it would be, yeah, right on, I would say right on the border of L and M6. So let's teleport there. And I am playing single player, which gives me 
um, access to uh, admin so I have invisibility on so these guys are not going to bother me but in the video that I did for this I show you how to get into here easily to avoid all of them so let's um, once I'm going to I've got my admin <laughs> let's go ahead and make it daytime we don't want it dark all right so we're going to put it on noon here all right and then it's raining of course so up here is the Dru all important druid and her name is Asteria Margona. Now you click on her, you can see she offers to teach you the nature attunement. Very important. You only need to do this once and it covers all the magics, fire, earth, water, and air. So once you do that, um, now you're set to get your tome of uh, magics and you can also touch the shrines. Now, if you try to touch the shrines, even though you have the tome, um, if you try to touch the shrines, you will die because you have not attuned to nature. You must do this first. All right, so let's, um, let's see, where, where can we go? The next thing you need to, need to do is find one of um, the magus that carries the tomes. Let's do, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do um, Galaman's tomb. And the Magus of Earth element is here. So right up here, and you saw where it was on the map. So if you come in here, And right to your left, amongst the alligators here, you'll see him here all terrified. <laughs> and I don't blame him. He's in, a, he's in a cave full of alligators. So, And I also did a video on this, on uh, how to find him and how to find the shrine. Yes. All right. So now, all the maguses of elements, whether it's fire, water, air, or earth, you have to purchase it. Now this is where the uh, comprehensive guide that I'm going to leave in the description comes in handy because it tells you beforehand what you're going to need to buy this before you actually you get here. So you don't have to do this twice. Uh, the first time I did it I came here and didn't realize that I had to have 50 Vulcan bees so I had to go back home, get the 50 Vulcan bees and then come back here to get it. So that'll save you all that trouble. So um, once you give him the 50 Vul Vulcan bees, you'll get the Tome of Earth element. Now you're ready to go to the shrine. When you have something of value. Now the shrines are also all in a different place. And I also have videos in my playlist of that as well. So um, I'll show you where that is. Now it's pretty close to this. It's up here in... Uh, Zalthar's Refuge. So we're just going to go right outside here. And let's see, where are we? I think it's right over here. Yep, here we are. So this is full of Solbeck soldiers, and they're pretty tough. They're pretty tough. So you want to bring a thrall in here to help you out, get through this. Now, once you go in here and go to your left, off in the distance, you can see this little green glow. Can't miss it. That's where you want to go. So we're going to head right over there. This is the shrine of the earth elemental magic. So now that you have your nature attunement, you have your tome of earth elemental magic, you can touch this and it will attune you to um, earth magic. Once you do that, you can open up your crafting section and you will find, where is it here? Um, Granny could find it here, here it is. Um, the earth altar 
And this is where you will make your earth weapon and your earth ammo and uh, your tools to make your um, gems, your earth gems. So uh, let's go there. Now, I'm, you, I'm sure you noticed that when I um, touch this, I get requires um, Tome of Nature Ascension Volume 2, and that's because I've leveled up already. Um, and uh, once I get the second volume of leveling up, um, I can come back here and uh, attune to that. So let's go back. Oh, look where I landed this time. Yeah. All right. Now this is where I have my earth altar in here. So I have it all set up. And I even have a thrall on it. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. Now you won't have all this in yours um, because I leveled up to uh, Earth Magic 2, I have these extras in here. But what you will have is um, the weapon for Magic 1. You'll, he you'll have the healing uh, weapon. And you will have um, a staff. And it'll be Improved Scholar's Staff. You will have um, the spell of Concentrated Acid, which is your ammo. And you will have, I think, spell one. Yeah. You'll have spell um, soothe one for your healing weapon. Now, you will also have the sickle of serenity. Now, the sickle of serenity um, will give you your power gems for um, earth magic. So you need these gems um, when you level up. So in order to um, level up your magic um, at the shrine for the second time, once you upgrade, you get the um, um, Nature Ascension Volume 1, uh, you will need 25 of these to do that. Um, now also, um, with this sickle, you need to um, harvest certain things and for this you need to harvest lotus flowers now what i do is i go to uh the black garden um and that is let me show you where that is that is right here the black garden and you will find black lotus flowers in there and the reason i go there is because there's a lot of them in there and it's just much easier. You go one place and you'll get all you need um, to get your earth gems. So that's how I, I get those. Whoops. Now this is, this is the earth boulder that I was showing you. Um, that's how I got it. Once I got my shrine activated, uh, I went back and, and got that. So uh, that's important to do. Um, and let me see, what else is there to this? Oh, yes. Um, in order to have this altar work for you, you need to fuel it with emeralds. So that's what I have up here is emeralds. You need to have plenty of those in stock. And if you have a thrall in here, uh, your uh, when you make these things, it'll go faster. And I do believe it's supposed to... Um, uh, make them easier or cheaper to make I should say not use quite so many materials But I haven't really investigated that to see if if that is so or not. So uh, Yeah, that's what you need to do that um, This is how you get your magic started now. Um, oh, let me show you this too once you make uh, your um, Ammo you need to put it onto your weapon to use it. So in here, I have concentrated acid one. You click on that, and then you come down to your earth magic weapon, and you click on it. And you hear that little thump? That means um, you now have that equipped to your weapon. And it's the same for um, if I was going to make some of the uh, healing which is soothe one I would if I had some made which I don't 
Um, but if I clicked on that and then clicked on to the Earth Magic Weapon for healing, uh, it, that's what would happen. Um, that's how you load it. And also with these, these do um, degrade just like any weapon. So you have to repair them. And in order to repair them, you need, let me see if I've got any in my inventory here. I do. You need the Earth Power Gem um, to repair this, this weapon. So um, all you would do again is click on that, or if you um, right click on that, it just says info, but let me see if my one here does. No, I need to click out of that first. Okay, so you see it shows um, repair. So I hit the Y, see it uses the Earth Power Gem to repair it. It was down a little bit, I did use it. Yeah, so as long as I have it in my little hands, let's go see what it does. This is how you use these. You click on them just like you would a weapon. Um, they have three different levels. The first one um, for the, the PlayStation controller, which I'm using, I use R1. And it just does a basic um, small hit. Now the second one, which is R2, does a more concentrated hit. And then uh, L2 does an area spell, which is really nice. I use this quite a bit. Um, you can, you know, hit quite a few uh, enemies with that. So that's how that's done. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so um, now you want to level up. You've got level one and you've leveled up all your magics. And you've gone out and you've gotten your, let me see if I can find it again, your Tome of Nature Ascension Volume 1. And again, that's in the passage. And my last video was all about that and how you get it. Um, I have not, this is my water magic, and I have not leveled that up yet to level 2. So this is what your magic magic's going to look like when you first get them. You get your weapon, you get your ammunition, and you get your um, your power gem tool. So in this particular one for water, um, you use this little sword or knife or dagger or whatever it is. I think it's a little sword. Um, and for that, you need to kill all water-based animals, which are shalebacks and alligators. So if you kill them and then harvest them with this um, little sword, you will get these water power gems, which you need again to um, repair your weapon and also um, to upgrade. So I'm going to need these power gems. Let me see how many I've got. I've got 34 on me because I was planning on doing this. So because I haven't done this, I'm just going to take you with me to do it. Now I have on my person also um, the Tome of Nature Ascension Volume 1. I need to have that on me and I need to have at least 25 uh, water power gems to upgrade. So the upgrade for this is at the Shrine of the Tome of Water. And that is right on this shore, right here. I don't know if any of you have been to the Sunken City, but if you haven't, you need to go. It's fun. <laughs> it's just a fun place. And you'll see this little rowboat here, sitting here. And you are actually close to the Witch's Palace. So um, you need to just, yes, we'll travel to the Sunken City. Now I have my underwater mask on. And I do have, I do have, I think, unless I use them all. No, I do have one breathing potion left. So that should get me to the shrine. So you want to head out to where you enter the water for the sunken city. Now I'm going to bypass all these guys here. Again, I'm invisible, so they're not going to bother me anyway. But I want to go in back here. 
And then I want to follow this down here. And you can see them all on the beach down there. We're just going to run right by them all. And we're just going to jump right in the water. And we're going to take a breathing potion right away, even though I have the mask on. And then the minute you get here, you want to go to your right. And when you do, you can see it right away. You can see it down there just glowing away. So that's where we're headed. And again, this is the shrine of the water element. So this is where you need to come after you get your tome of water element. It takes a bit to get there. Now again, once you get your Nature Ascension Volume 1, you cannot get your magics leveled up to Magic 2 until you come back to this shrine. And there we go, ascending to the next tier. So I have successfully ascended to level two in my water magic. So now we're gonna go back to my humble abode. And whoa, 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 whoa. I apologize for this, guys. You know, <laughs> wish it was an easier way, but my, my little thing is so touchy. Oh, look at that. Yay. <laughs> no jumping off in buildings. All right, so let's go back in now to our water altar here. And now I have Magic 2. And I also have Water Blast 2. So there you go. We've upgraded. So my next step will will be to find um, the um, Tome of Nature Ascension Volume 2. Now in my travels, uh, I have found others, of course, out of order. And you can do that. If you run across them, by all means, pick them up. So I have Tome of Nature Ascension Volume 4. Um, so when I get to that level, I already have it. But these are also tied to um, the level that you're at in your game. Right now, I am uh, 75, level 75. I can't uh, ascend to uh, level 4 until I get to 80. And the water magic um, only has 4 volumes to it. The rest of them have 5. And at the fifth level, you have to be level 120. And that's for fire, earth, and air magic. So, yeah, guys. Yeah. And that's how you get your nature elemental magics. Fire, air, water, and earth. Uh, that's how you attune to them all. And that's how you level them up. So if you found this helpful, please give me that big old like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.